on, on Australia or in the sort of work work that I do. Um, in relation to uh, Rand Paul, um, well, um, I'm a big admirer of Ron Paul and Rand Paul um, for their uh, very principled positions uh, in uh, the US Congress on a number of issues. Uh, they have been the strongest um, uh, uh, supporters uh, of uh, the fight against the US attack on WikiLeaks uh, and on me uh, in the US Congress. Uh, similarly, uh, they have been the strongest opponents uh, of drone warfare uh, and extrajudicial uh, executions. And so um, that's uh, quite an interesting phenomenon in the United States, the uh, position of the libertarian Republican, um, uh, for want of a better description, right, um, coming from a principle of uh, nonviolence, which is the American uh, libertarian intellectual tradition, uh, that produces interesting results. Uh, so um, nonviolence, well, don't go and invade a foreign country. Uh, nonviolence, uh, don't force people at the, bullet, bullet of a, at the barrel of a gun uh, to serve uh, in the US Army. Uh, nonviolence, don't um, extort taxes from people uh, to the federal government uh, uh, with a policeman. Uh, uh, similarly, um, the other aspects of nonviolence in relation uh, to abortion that they hold. Uh, I think um, uh, some of these positions uh, that are held by Rand Paul, um, why they, yeah, I can see how they come from the same underlying uh, libertarian principle. Um, I think the world uh, is often more complex and uh, uh, by taking a, a no doubt principled but sometimes uh, simplistic position, you end up undermining the principle. There's, um, Sort of short-term visions of a principle and long-term visions of a principle. It's quite hard uh, to meld these together. Uh, in relation to anonymous, um, Josiah, did you have any follow-up questions you wanted to put to Julian Assange? Uh, just, uh, just one. Uh, I'm, if, if you've noticed, uh, Mr. Assange, there's been a um, a swell of support for libertarians, the Pauls, Ron Paul, Rand Paul, and other libertarian figures uh, among American youth especially, uh, college-age youth uh, and others. What do you think this uh, means for the U.S.? Uh, how would you interpret this as it pertains to our political future? Well, the way we see things at the moment, um, you know, uh, the nearly every other Democrat, uh, sorry, nearly every Democrat uh, in Congress has been co-opted by the Obama administration or co-opted by DC social networks. Um, uh, the um, economic, really successful part of the Republican Party is often in bed with the war industry, completely in bed. Uh, so there's now an extreme center in the United States where the uh, Democratic administration uh, and a large chunk of the Republican Party have come together and are pushing forward very fast uh, in a dangerous direction that compromises the future of US democracy. That is not a conservative movement. A conservative movement says, uh, hold on to what you've got. Uh, don't change what's working. Uh, be cautious uh, about uh, bold changes to the society. Uh, so the Republican Party, uh, insofar as it is coupled together with the US war industry, uh, is not a conservative party at all. And um, the libertarian aspect of the Republican Party uh, um, is presently uh, the only um, useful political voice, really, uh, in the U.S. Congress. Uh, it is, a, is it will be um, the driver that shifts the United States around. It's not going to come from the Democrats. It's not going to come uh, from Ralph Nader. It's not going to come uh, from the co-opted parts of the Republican Party. Uh, the only uh, hope. Uh, as far as electoral politics are concerned in the United States, uh, presently is uh, the libertarian uh, uh, section uh, of the Republican Party. All right, thanks for your answer there. Very detailed answer, Julian Assange. And your question from Washington.